मिस्टिक इंडिया फिल्म जो बना एनी मुख्य हेतु आप जो भारतीय संस्कृति है एनी भव्यता है एनी दिव्यता है यू दर्शन लोग ने सारी रीते थाय खास कर भारतीय संस्कृति में स्थापत्य है कला है संगीत है लोग से लोग जीवन है जे बदा तीर्थस्था है ये बदा जो सारी रीते समावेश कर तो लोग ने परिचय थाय दृष्टिए आज मिस्टिक इंडिया अंदर आप सांस्कृतिक दर्शन करा मुख्य हेतु आप भगवान स्वामीनारायण जय नीलकंठ वर्णी स्वरूपे भारत देश में एमने लगभग सात वर्ष सुधी भारत तीर्थों में जो विचरण करू हिमालय में तपश्चर्या करे बद्रीनारायण केदारनाथ आ बदा तीर्थों में जाए कैलास मानस सरोवर ते बदे जाए पुलाश्रम मुक्तनाथ जाए आसा में कामाक्षी जाए बांग्लादेश अंदर सुंदरवन है आ बाजू जगन्नाथपुरी से नीचे रामेश्वर है कन्याकुमारी है उत्तर में पंपास्तर थी अने गुजरात में ठेठ लोच सुधी पधारे आ बदा जे तीर्थों अंदर ए पोते पधार ए दरमियान त्याज बदा उत्सवों थे त्याँ आखू माहौल एनु एक बहुत सुंदर रीते विविध रीते दर्शन लोग ने थाय दृष्टिए आखा आ मिस्टिक इंडिया फिल्म अंदर नीलकंठ वणी जे एक अद्भुत दिव्य पात्र है एने केन्द्र में राखा आ एक आखू जे कार्य पवित्र धार्मिक कार्य तो ये भगवान स्वामीनारायण अने अतरे परमुज प्रमुख स्वाई महाराज की प्रेरणा एम आशीर्वाद थी प्रमुख स्वाई महाराज बदा जो सैकड़ों स्वयंसेवको एमने पोता ने पोता गुरु आशीर्वाद ने प्रेरणा थी खूब रीते हिम्मत थी कि आप गुरु आशीर्वाद ने प्रेरणा हो तो गमे ते कार्य कठिन हो सारी रीते पार कर दरक स्वयंसेवकों खूब पोते एम जहमत उठा खूब तनतोड़ मेहनत कर बेहूब आज की बस्सों वर्ष पहला जी आखू वातावरण और जो दृश्य था एज रीते संजोग में नीलकंठ वर्णी दृश्य और साथ साथ सामज जीवन जो दृश्य है ये अपने रीते झड़पी सकी बधाई ने खास विश्वास ने ये श्रद्धा थी तो आ कार्य रीते पार पड़ू है ये एक बहु आप एक चमत्कारी घटना है कि आखा आ मिस्टिक इंडिया फिल्म अंदर आ रीते लार्ज फॉर्मेट में जे एनु आखू एक फिल्मीकरण करूँ एने मटे मुख्य प्रश्न डायरेक्टर ने कैमरामेन तो स्वामी श्री आशीर्वाद थी अपन ने रीड स्मूट नामना बहुज सारा कैमरामेन जे लार्ज फॉर्मेटना बहुत जाता बहुज एम नामना है साथ साथ डायरेक्टर कीथ ये अपने एम मड़ी गया आ बदा पश्चिम भाई होवा छता ने स्वामी श्री आशीर्वाद थी ए लोग ने एटली बड़ी प्रेरणा मी कि आ एक सारूँ कार्य है तो आप खूब सारी रीते करूँ और स्वामी श्री ने प्रसन्न करने तो ये खूब सहकार आप पोता मानी अने बध कार्य हमने करेलू है साथ साथ सैम कार्डन पे जमने म्यूजिक आप मजूमदार जमने म्यूजिक आप एमने पोता मानी आ कार्य करेलू है और बीजा जो भाई जमने आ कार्य स्क्रिप्ट लखी साथ साथ जमने पोता वॉइस आप बदाज भाई पोता मानी आ कार्य कर खास तो प्रमुख स्वाई महाराज जेवा एक सत ने राजी करने उद्देश्य थी बदा खूब सारो सहकार रो एटले आ कार्य सारी रीते सफलतापूर्वक संपूर्ण रहू है तो आ फिल्म जो संदेशों से वसुधैव कुटुंबकम कहता आप सब मानवजात बदा साथ मड़ी ने रही है साथ मड़ी एक बीजा ने अपने मददरूप थी साथ मड़ी ने अपने एक बीजा ने जीवन आनंद सुख ये अपने आप जुए आखो भारतीय संस्कृत वैदिक समय थी जो आखो एक संदेशों चालू आए थे ये संदेशों मुख्यतः समग्र भारतीय समाज पर अने विश्वना समाज पर संदेशों दरेक ने पहुँचे 
માનવ માનવ નજીક આવે માનવ માનવના હૃદય નજીક આવે માનવ માનવ એકબીજા પ્રત્યે પ્રેમ અને સહાનુભૂતિ એ દાખવે અને વધારે એવા એક પવિત્ર હેતુથી આખું જે છે મિસ્ટિક ઇન્ડિયા ફિલ્મ એ તૈયાર કરવામાં આવ્યું છે You hear from so many people about India as being this Mecca, this amazing place to go. You have to, sometime in your life, get to India. The film has been shot in 108 locations throughout India. But searching for such interesting diverse locations was a project in itself. We scouted more than 250 cultural and heritage sites for almost a year to decide on those 108 locations. even in location scouting we went to a lot of places that we weren't able to ultimately shoot at and so you know the 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 stories and the adventures there alone are remarkable we traveled over 52000 kilometers uh, which is around uh, 32000 miles by road across india I remember many a near death experience on a on an Indian road. It's kind of like um you're a human pinball in a moving metal machine. Just some sort of amazing ballet where usually no one gets hit, but it's sort of organized chaos on the streets of India wherever we went. Well the challenge was to find period locations with no modern objects like no electrical poles or cables or not even a tin roof inside so we had to search so many different places because anywhere you go you definitely see some modern object we wanted to depict 18th century india of nilkant's time some electrical cables running across but maybe we can easily avoid them if we take this is the top angle Currently Ritesh is pointing towards south direction and maybe we can have a shot like yeah start walking. Set construction would be easy here. Well the script demanded a variety of locations from temples and palaces which were masterpieces of art and architecture. to dense green jungles to vast seashores and to places where people just celebrate festivals or they perform ceremonies this is very impressive fort fort but you can get big boats which are quite steady this is a very good view and our nilkant is climbing fast pehle hi so udaipur that's a nice shot varanasi this is chakragand ki and this is muktinath temple all the snow peak you seeing the whole himalayan range in the backdrop as the film shows very diverse group uh one thing that struck me that i wouldn't have ever considered is that uh the people in the northern india literally cannot speak to the people in southern india it's the the languages are so diverse and different that you need a translator to speak within one country 
And that's pretty remarkable. From a sort of homogenous country like the United States, um, that really struck me. We went well beyond the tourist routes, the Golden Triangle, and we traveled north, south, west, and east. Uh, from 12 to 13,000 feet, I think, in the Himalayas, all the way down to Cochin and um, Kerala in the south, uh, all through Rajasthan and parts of India in the east. And so we really, it was quite an experience. It was a, an emotional journey for us, as well as an emotional journey, hopefully, for the people who see the film. And when we searched India, we were really amazed by the diversity that India offers, both geographically and culturally. Possibly one of the largest challenges for the team was casting Nilkant. Even after screening hundreds of children in the film capital Mumbai, it was difficult to find a single child who could match the looks and mannerism of Nilkant. Therefore, we had to widen our search to all over India. We covered scores of schools, hostels, gurukuls, private institutions, even BAPS centers, looking for the two children who could depict Nilkant. We screened almost 11,000 kids. And finally, we were able to unanimously decide on Latesh as younger Nilkant and Rupak as the older one. It was a very big responsibility and I think it was simply a divine selection. This is a very big project. selection selection because our tarah thi amaro koi purushar tha to nahi ane ene pan koi evo professional experience ke ugo hatu nahi pan keval baba ni krupa we needed very dedicated actors who could absorb the philosophy of the film and appreciate the spiritual journey of nilkant i am at home it is others who are lost if nothing can stop death then why should one fear it so one of the important things of actually training Latish was actually a fourth step process, one of which was the nilkanization of Latish. We took about one and a half months. And in that we took a detailed understanding of who Nilkan Verni was, so that he understood the qualities that Nilkan Verni exemplified. So when he acted, he actually brought those qualities out on screen, of which were fearlessness, courageousness, of um, compassion in, in every aspect that he gave. He would practice in one still a posture, meditation. Therefore then after it he would take a bath and then he would do puja for about 45 minutes to one hour. And that included him doing puja to the Shaligram, him doing Mara, him doing Pradakshina, him doing Danvat. And in that way afterwards he would go and do Pranayam. He would do Yogasan every morning. In every aspect, he was actually doing the same motions and the same acting in the same way he would do that Nilkan Verni would do. And Nilkan Verni, the Satvaras, the one which ran carry, that atlo parishram vetya pachi pan shari ni krushta kevi khoya the, 
પછી એ ખૂસતા ઉપરાંત પણ પાછું મોઢાનું તેજ એવું ને એવું જ લાગવું જોઈએ એટલે એ બધો વિચાર કરતા અને બાપાને પ્રાર્થના કરતા કે નીલકંઠવાણી જે સ્વરૂપમાં છે અને હતા એ સ્વરૂપ સારી રીતે આપણે આમાં દર્શાવી શકીએ આખી એમની વેશભૂષા આકાર બધું એ આપણું ત્યાં કરવું છે સેટિંગ એમ આપણો એ ધ્યેય હતો અને એમાં બાપાએ ખૂબ સારી સફળતા અપાવી This was the first time he was actually doing any form of acting, any form of actually kind of on-screen performance. A professional acting coach was hired and given day-to-day -day daily coaching assignments and lessons for him to understand actually the basics of acting. We will be up in the trees, the camera will be up in the trees as if we're following a butterfly and we'll come down to find you. And you will pretend you're looking at a butterfly and you'll put your hand like this and as if the butterfly has landed, right? This is a fantastic child. He's an excellent child. I've not, never seen this kind of child. He's so patient, very cooperative, very nice to work. Nice, very excellent child. Bapa is a very good child. He's a very good child. He's a very good child. He's a very good child. પાસ્ટ એક્સપિરિયન્સ નતો છતાં પણ બાપાએ સિલેક્ટ કર્યો ઈશ્વર સ્વામી પણ ખાસ એનું અને સત્સંગ એ છોકરો જોઈએ એટલે એનું પૂર્વનું જબરજસ્ત પુણ્ય હોય એ લીધે એમને પણ ફાયદો થઈ ગયો ભાગ્યશાળી કે અમારે આટલો બધો સરસ લાભ મળ્યો ને અમારે દીકરાને આવો સરસ લાભ મળ્યો એટલે કેવળ બાપાની જ કૃપા એમ એ વગર તો શક્ય જ નથી એમ ઇન એડિશન ટુ લર્નિંગ અબાઉટ સ્પિરિચ્યુઆલિટી ઓફ નીલકંઠ બોથ બોયઝ હેડ ટુ ગ્રો ધેર હેર લોંગ ટુ ટાઈ ધ નોટ એન્ડ ઓલ્સો લૂઝ અ લોટ ઓફ વેટ ટુ લુક લાઈક નીલકંઠ ઓલ્ડર ધ સેકન્ડ નીલકંઠ ટુ પ્લે ઇન ધ ફિલ્મ રૂપક મેતા હિઝ ઓલ્સો ટ્રેનિંગ વોઝ ઓલ્સો નોટ વર્ધી એઝ વેલ Uh, he the first and the greatest challenge he had was in within 3 weeks he had to lose 17 kilos which he did the script ma eu nakki thayu ke ne yogasan ne eu aave chhe etle rupak ne ek divas ahya bolavi isar sai jode meeting karavi ane final kar rahi hai ke yogasan ni kai position apne rakhvi padse shu karu padse rath yatra ma beswanu chhe to sitting kevo chhe etle rupak ne apne amdavad ek divas bolavyo અચીવડ મને અત્યંત આનંદ થયો કારણ કે એ સમયે હું ઘરમાં એકલો જ હતો હું કોને મારા આનંદને કોની પાસે વ્યક્ત કરવું એ માટે હું લોકોને શોધતો હતો દેટ માય સન હેઝ બિન સિલેક્ટેડ ફોર ધીસ બંને નાનો નીલકંઠ અને મોટો નીલકંઠ એ બેઓને જો આપ જુઓ બહુ સારી રીતે તો એવું લાગે કે બહુ જ સરસ સિલેક્શન કર્યું છે searching for a very beautiful true meaningful story that could act as a vehicle for exploring indian culture and presenting it in its purest form and through our research when we went through cultural books old scriptures and the entire history 
we found that there was a story in waiting. Here was a story of a very fearless, very spiritually advanced young teenage yogi, Nilkant. In his young days, he traveled barefoot throughout India. One such story has inspired millions. The story of a boy who took an extraordinary journey through the wonders of mystic India. हिंदुस्तान में ही संभव और कहीं संभव नहीं है। तो वहाँ से मिस्टिक इंडिया की शुरुआत हुई मेरे अंदर, मेरे अंदर। ये मेरी भी कल्याण यात्रा थी, मेरी अपनी कल्याण यात्रा थी नीलकंठ की खोज में। The epic journey of Nilkanth was fearless. Not only it was fearless, but it was also inspiring. At the same time, it depicted a limitless potential. That a human body and mind could be stretched. It was a story of hope and faith. These are some of the main reasons why the story of Nilkanth was selected. If nothing can stop death, then why should one fear it? Running from danger will make us fearful, but facing it will make us fearless. So that we found a beautiful story which was true as well as amazing. Sometimes stories which are amazing may not be true and sometimes true stories may not be that amazing but the story of the teenage yogi Nilkant was both true and amazing and that is the spirit of India. It is amazing and also very very true. Based on the research, once the basic concept and content of the story was developed by BAPS, we took help from renowned script writers like Kamlesh Pandey to develop the story and write dialogues and Moose Richards to draft the final script. My journey is like a cloud. Because there is thirst everywhere, I just cannot stop moving. Mystic India film is a Nilkanthani Basso Vars Pelani Yatra Tarike Raju Thathiyati. इले बसो वर्ष पहला नू भारत के हुआ तू बसो वर्ष पहला ना भारत ना जीजे प्रदेश में थी तेव पसार था ते ते शहरों के ते ते गामड़ाओं ते केवा हता ते समय लोगों केवा वस्त्रों पहरता था गुजरात में अपन पश्चिम गुजरात मामु प्रकार ना वस्त्रों ने उत्तर गुजरात मामु प्रकार ना वस्त्रों तो जेम प्रांत बदला� तेना जेके रिकॉर्ड्स में ला जेना दाखला तरीके एक उदाहरण रूपे बताऊँ चु। भारत ना तेज समय ना जुदा-जुदा प्रांत ना लोको अने जुदा-जुदा व्यवसाय वाला लोको ये केवा वस्त्रो पहरता आता। तेना पन खूब सुंदर तेज समय ना बस्सो वर्ष पहला ना केला चित्रोच। आ चित्रो भारतीय चित्रकारों ए कर लाज। we didn't have them all from one region of South India. We had five ladies from Tamil Nadu, five ladies from Kerala, five ladies from Andhra, so it was pretty much mixed up. So we have ladies from all parts of South India coming to one place. And it was the same thing with the men as well. Sathe sathe, temna tiloko pan ema mukya chhe. Ke kai philosophy ne anusharta loko keva tilak karta ata. To tena kitlak sundar sandarbo apane prato thai chhe. All that research actually came from Akshar Sal Swami and the research that he's done all these years. The markings are pretty much the markings that exist in India of the different religions that are followed. So we just picked out the predominant ones that existed 200 years back in terms of the Saivite and the Vaishnavas. And those are the ones that we put on the different people. They were in the houses, they were in the house, they were in the street, they were in the street, they were in the street, they were in the street. So in the Rugvedic, there were 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 in the Brahman Granthoma, Aronia Granthoma, अनेक उपनिषदों में तेरे ऊपर स्टडी करो साथे साथे बस्सो वर्ष पहला ना जंगलों के वहाँ था जैम के नीलकंठ सुंदरवन माथी पसार था ता आता तो सुंदरवन तेज समय क्यों हुआ तो जे साउथी बदारे खतरनाक अजगरो अने साउथी बदारे खतरनाक एवा जंगली प्राणियों चरेता आता व्हाइट टाइगर्स रेता आता ये सुंदरवन तेज स 
भारत ना जे विविध प्रांतों नो आर्किटेक्चर हतु तेनु पण 200 वर्ष पहला नो आर्किटेक्चर केव हतु जिन के कोई राजस्थान नो एक महल होय तो राजस्थान नो ते समय नो महल केव होय पश्चिम भारत ना महलो केवा था दक्षिण भारत ना महलो केवा था तो आ जुदा जुदा खूब सुंदर रिकॉर्ड्स आपने प्राप्त थया जेम के ट्रैवल्स इन वेस्टर्न इंडिया आ पुस्तक पण भगवान स्वामी नारायण एटले के नीलकंठ नो समकालीन पुस्तक छे तेनी नोंद थेली छे तो आवा जुदा जुदा ते समय ना मंदिरो ते समय ना जुदा जुदा एवा महलो वगैरे केव होतो तो ते आवा बदा ग्रंथो उपर थी आपने प्राप्त थाय छे भारतीय संस्कृति ए विश्व ना जे प्रदान आपियो छे तेमा 10000 वर्ष नो विशाल समय गाळो छे तो भारतीय भावनाओ केवी उदात हती जेना उपर समग्र विश्व आफरी नतो तो ए उदात भावनाओ उपनिषदो वेदो अने आपणा महान पुराण ग्रंथो माथी आपने प्राप्त करी लोको ने ये पन खबर पड़ी जो है कि भारत नहीं परंपरा में तेरी भावनाओं के लिए प्रबल होती। दाखला तरीके वसुधैव कुलमुकम छे, अथवा विश्वस्य भवती एक नीडम छे, जी आखा विश्व ने यूनिटी माटे प्रेरणा आपे छे, आखा विश्व ने हार्मनी अलग के संवादिता ने एकता माटे ने प्रेरणा आपे छे। ए एक एवु ज्ञान छे के जनाब दारा मानस ना तन अने मन ने स्वस्थ रखवानी अद्भुत कला दर्शाव मारी छे भारतीय परंपरागत केतलीक विद्या हो छे जिमा योग विद्या है तो मात्रा सुस्वास्थ्य माटे ज नहीं पर मन नी शांति माटे पान अने समग्र विश्व में संवादिता माटे पान रूषी मुनिवाय योग नो अद्भुत ज्ञान आपे तो पात तो तेनो पण आमा समावेश करवानो निर्धारियो ऋग्वेद ना समय थी केवी भारत नी समृद्धि हती ज्ञान आणि विज्ञान मा तेनो पण एक स्टडी करियो तो ऋग्वेदिक पीरियड मा 10000 वर्ष पहला केवी रीते भारतीय ऋषीओ आकाश दर्शन करता था नक्षत्र दर्शन करता था आणि केवी रीते गुरुकुल पद्धति थी लोको ने तेनो शिक्षण आपता था इबा बदा जुदा जुदा विषयो नो स्टडी करियो Essentially, what has sustained the amazing fascinations of India is her spirituality, which is mysterious and mystic. Bharat Sansar ka bhavishya. If Sansar ko agar bachna hai, to usse Bharat se kuch lena padega. Ye jo mystic India hai. So we came across this title of mystic, which is spiritual, India. So the strength of any culture or any land is the test of a spirituality and spirituality is essentially what protects us and helps us across life. That's why this beautiful simple name came across Mystic India. It's impossible to do a period film in India, you know, from even just 200 years ago, because of all the modernization, uh, unless you're on a back lot. And so almost every uh, location, village, street, temple, mandir, was a set built by a group of individuals who had never done Hollywood or Bollywood before. And they did a, a, just an amazing job. So that was the main key thing, that we wanted a period film on a period set. Badrinath was in Badrinath, and at this time, Badrinath was in the same time. So at that time, we studied the authentic drawing. In this case, we took a look at the Badrinath Mandir measurement details, and we created the same set of Badrinath as if we are in Badrinath. We had to study first, research, Orina side of Bajan, a photograph, party and study curry, and a career pachia kind of drawing nazare, a sets up here on your Uba Korea. Each and every set, Ayodhya, Badinath, K. Rameshurhoi. Yeah, it's quite impressive. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. We, uh, I mean, and what's great is it really duplicates the real Badranath temple extremely well. To achieve this kind of uh, results. Without the BAPS, um, you know, organization basically executing these sets, it would be impossible to, to build these sets. Uh, it was a great 
uh, joy and opportunity um, and treasure to work with the core team of BAPS that, that were responsible for the making of Mystic India. Uh, it, led by Ishwar Swami, who of course then worked very closely with Pramukh Swami. And all of the other core sadhus that I worked with um, that became responsible for different facets of the film. Whether it was uh, coordinating the infrastructure and the transportation, whether it was the remarkable art direction. Uh, one thing that I was amazed is that even though the sadhus in general are a homogenous group, you certainly, as you get to work with them, you get to sense their own unique personalities that bubble out. And I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed the direct personal connections that we all made with each other. Uh, and it was, you know, moments to be cherished. So, Rameswar no aku lambai porai the bhoche. So, upon it is size ma banana ma te apda nakki kari kya apda banana te size ma banana. इतने अन्य आखिर डिटेल आपे लाया, इना फोटोग्राफ लाया, दरेक वस्तु पिलर चे, अन्य डिजाइन चे, अन्य लंबाई पोहरा यूचाई, इनु दरेक नो आपे माप लाईने, अन्य ए परमाण आपे 300 फुट ने आपे परिक्रमा बनावी। Sets are normally made for camera and not for seeing it in real, but we chose, we chose to make it as realistic as possible because the detail that is visible in large format. Or IMAX screens is just as if you are there inside the mandir or walking next to the chariot. Well, this has been an outstanding set to work on that represents the uh, Rameshwaram temple. Um, it's it's outstanding for large format because it represents scale and proportion, and uh, it's a set that's 200 feet long, and it represents a corridor that is just under 800 feet. The set was designed to lay out so that we could get some back rim lights so we'd get a repetition on each of the uh, of the columns of light which would help us with that whole depth perspective perspective thing because there's no way we could have lit this uh, artificially with our lighting package yes we have our post-production supervisor in los angeles and he's been doing the telecine and uh, it was a great reaction because he said wow really nice location you you lit it well where, where is that and then we explained well it's a, it's actually a set david and he couldn't he just wouldn't believe it Actually, with the artisans from Calcutta, here you will see the, all the paper work. work. The thermocol, basic structure is taken with thermocol, and the figures, etc., all these things are taken with paper work. But see, in our mind, the book, our mind, the detail, my drawing, our mind, the pillar, the pillar, my mind, map size, because that's why the photograph, my map, lay up, but see, the work, our mind, the carrier, our mind, our mind, the detail drawing, do it. तो ये ना मटे आखा डिटेल ड्राइंग करिया। ये ड्राइंग आपने जे काम चालतो है तो ये आखो वर्कशॉप में ये आखो ड्राइंग मुकुआ मारे के दरे कारीगर ने खाओ पर एक बार यूँ काम सुख करो उसे। ब्रह्मचर्य स्वामी वाज अमेजिंग। ही वाज अ वन मैन आर्मी। uh, from building that remarkable set at, of Rameshwaram, which looks like it goes on forever, to the intricate uh, colored peacock that we see, uh, he took amazing care uh, to make it seem uh, as real as if it were really built. I think that's a testament to the care and detail of each and every member uh, that were, were a part of this. The attention to detail extended to set properties as well. We had dozens of set properties to enhance each set. These, these sets have worked out very well for us. Um, they've been uh, nicely designed, so they give us a lot of depth, background, background, and foreground layers. And uh, the finishing has been very, very good. The, uh, the final patina is. Uh, on these sets is very realistic and it's going to look very good. So, 
volunteers took up all these different responsibilities from cleaning of the sets to actual production design to actually building the sets, coloring them, aging them, getting them ready for the shot and everything that you could possibly think of for organizing the whole shoot was either done or at least helped by all these volunteers. आ इन ओरिजिनल चित्र से आधार सुने बावीस नी साल मा थाईली रथ यात्रा नो तेना वर्णन और ब्रिटिश गैजेट्स ने साथे आवा के लग चित्रों में थी पन मरी इना अहवालों पन प्राप्त होता है तेना आधारे खनु बुद्धू आमा समावमा अभियुक्त चालीस ती पचास जिला मिस्त्री जे लाकड़ा नो काम करवा रहा था के पची दस ती पंद्रह जना आप जे वेल्डिंग काम है के जे रथ बनायो तो त्याने रथ नहीं आये चके चालीस पिस्तालीस फुट आये चे एना व्हील नहीं के छह सात फुट डायमीटर चे ते एना एक्चुअल एवं खतना माप ले ही ना आप रहे ना खो त्यां लोकनु स्ट्रक्चर अंदर बने इफेक्ट बाहर नहीं बजे जगन्नाथ पुर For the Rathyatra, we transplanted over two dozen palm trees. This was possible only because of the volunteers' dedication and hard work. And we also made sure that the trees were replanted back again. For the crew, Nepal was their first shooting location and the most complex in terms of logistics. Apart from the thin air at the altitude of 12,000 feet, they also had to face winds up to 120 km per hour. It's extremely cold here. My hands and everything is freezing. To make matters worse, the weight of the camera on the nose of the helicopter often made it hard to control the motion and speed of the chopper. The shoot was supposed to start in three days and the mighty Himalayan ranges had suddenly become invisible. It was cloudy for many days and raining in the mountain ranges. We could not even perform the pre-shoot recce. There was no visibility at all. Even the weather reports were discouraging. Another big worry was that there was very scanty snowfall this year. So the locations which we had selected for shooting 2-3 months ago, which were all covered with snow even in the month of November, were entirely snowless in the month of March after the whole winter. They looked grim and dull. We then discussed postponing the Himalayan shoot and move on to the next location. So I called Pramukh Swami Maharaj and explained the situation. But surprisingly, he insisted on continuing with the shoot, which very gently said, that he had been continually praying for the shoot and also requested all of us to pray sincerely and have faith. And on 5th March, to everyone's surprise, the weather opened up. It became totally clear and there was a beautiful sunrise. All of us were like overjoyed. We jumped into the helicopter and rushed to the places and we were completely flabbergasted. There was a carpet of beautiful fresh snow, clear blue sky with warm morning sunlight. Set to go and feeling great. We're going to clear this stuff completely out. We got up to 13,000 feet 
where Latesh, uh, in essentially nothing but a dhoti, was walking through the snow. Really amazing guy. You can take a nap if you wish. Huh? If you wish, you may nap. Rather than merely having um, spectacular vistas in a large format, we're also able to incorporate this, um, this wonderful story of this, of this young boy that does a number of things for us. Uh, first of all, it connects us emotionally with the landscape, but secondly, his figure uh, included in the scene adds tremendous scale to the uh, environment, to these towering peaks around it, which uh, gives us an appreciation for his relationship with the, uh, with the, with the land, and, and uh, it's, it's really been quite a marvelous experience. When we picked this story of Nilkant, we found that was a lot of real drama inside it as well because he leaves everything in the true yogi renunciate style and at the same time he moves into the Himalayas and when they ask him that you're a young little boy who is bare bodied, bare feet and the Himalayas have the power to freeze anybody or any living thing into stone and they ask him how will he face and he says through faith and across the history of humanity we have seen that faith has always been the savior of mankind. Get ready, home set? Yes. yes. It's okay, it's good. And that's a cut. Stand by. Roll camera. Away. Camera speed. Check it out, Bobby. Okay. And action. For us it was a relatively simple thing to do because we had warm weather clothing on and so forth, but to, for our young character it was, it was certainly a challenge because he has wearing barely nothing, just special pads on his feet, so, but he was terrific, he was a real trooper and I think we just got some amazing stuff. We also shot on the lower altitudes in the plain of the Himalayas because Nilkant had also passed through all those regions. Latesh has been absolutely horrible. I can't imagine. No. Latesh has been great. He's, um, you know, he's been amazing. I mean, uh, I don't know anyone who would have done what we asked him to do, which is be up at 13,000 feet walking essentially practically naked with just a dhoti and uh, through the snow, um, cold winds, did it really well and um, I commend him for it. Maharaja J. Serima Reta, the Serima Kondoino J. Makanje, to A. Serima, Derek Makanje, type nine, J. Jagiata, E. Pramana Prebana, Mike, J. Maharaj Reta, to Kondoino J. Makani Dijanche, shooting Majo, and Tiajo, but do exert Kutam, Kebetiana Kataya, a fair Kariuri. Oh, Jani streets. Bus over spell aje streets ma je house hota a same size depict karin a drawings pramane akko production theu. The sequence we're doing next week in the uh, Ayodhya set is a, is very specific. It's the opening of the film and it's also the beginning of Neil Neil Kant's uh, journey. So we start out very intimately in his home, in his room and we keep expanding larger and larger and larger. And uh, juxtaposition against that 
are the elements, the elements of the weather and, and the night and so forth. So it's going to be a lot of fun. पची महाराज ना जे गर्नी बाजू आगे भाई मंदिर होता आजी बाजू ते मंदिर ने त्यान ध्यान मारा कि ने त्याना डिजाइन परमान आपने ही मंदिर होगा करिया पर त्याना जे बता कलर के भाई आपने सेट बना के नव फ्रेश के वो लागू ना जे ऐना माटे जे जूनो लागे ना माटे ने ऊपर ने जे इफेक्ट कर भी पड़े के ये बद्दु जा पड़े ने पर पूरे पूरे डिटेल ने बद्दु आपे कर भी नहीं अंदर दिया ना एवरीथिंग बड़ी वर्क टुगेदर इट्स और बिग टीम वर्क बदा साधु बदा साधु जेल में कंसेप्ट से दे ऑल सेट टुगेदर अने ये बदा विचार कर The night we intentionally designed to be shorter so that we could get into the rhythm of it. But as you can you see in the background, we've got all this lighting, all these rain gear, rain rigs, we've got lightning. All of it takes time. Technically, this was one of the most challenging shot for us. We were supposed to moonlight 200 feet long street with heavy rain lashing down. And so big challenge was how to do that. So we fabricated around 100 feet by 100 feet grid with water pipes at every 10 feet pouring torrential rain on the ground. More than 120 feet height, I made a rain grid for all that uh, with lots of pumps and around about tons of water here with the blessings of uh, Pramukh Swamiji and Swami Narayan all. It's a really tough job for me and it went out very well smoothly without any hassle or anything. Um, I think Latesh has done an amazing job working in this cold water. So it's like this, right? You walk, you see the Mandir? Okay, pray to this hand, right? Walk. Nilkant would witness the Aarti, a ceremony of lamps held every evening for thousands of years to worship the waters of the Ganges. My journey is like a cloud. Because there is thirst everywhere, I just cannot stop moving. Each lamp symbolizes the light of knowledge. That's the legacy that Nilkant left behind. We were searching for a location on the bank of the Ganges in Haridwar where we could recreate the Ganga Aarti as it would have been performed 200 years ago when Nilkant visited the place. And this location looked like the perfect place. It has a good flow of water, no modern objects in the background, and so we could plan to recreate the Aarti here. But when we came here for the shoot, we were really taken aback because there was no water in this part of the river. So we worked very hard for four or five days with so many JCBs to create a kind of a, a small channel, a small nair. So many people donating their time, their materials, their, their energy, their, their sleep. Um, it's been amazing. जटलापन सेवादार होता, बदानो काम जो ही नहीं जो है इतनो बतो अत्प्रभ ने प्रभावित थे गए लो कि मने वो लगी हो कि आ काम साधारण मानवीय थी थाई शक्य है मने थी। Volunteers prepared a thousand lamps with flower petals and leaves, which are the real lamps used in Ganga Aarti even today. We labeled the invisible army. 
where we would say, okay, this is what needs to happen here. And we walk away saying, that's not gonna happen. We show up, it's done. I mean, there's a hundred people out there that will get no thanks from us. I mean, we don't know who they are and we'll never know who they are. Volunteers handle many different types of work, whether it was production design, whether it was cleaning the sets, whether it was gathering props, whether it was just helping coordinate the whole shot. All of these volunteers came together, leaving aside their jobs and businesses, getting together, doing something that was totally new for them. This was something that they had never done earlier in their lives. Probably quite a few of them had never even seen a film shoot. And yet, because of their dedication, because they took it up as a project, all of these people came together and made this whole shot happen. There was a bridge in the Ganga Ghat, and a bridge in the Ganga Ghat. There was a bridge in the film, जे बॉम्बे थी जे टेक्निशियन आवेला आर्ट डिपार्टमेंट नी अंदर अने प्रोडक्शन डिजाइनर ने हेल्प करवा मटे ने इन्हीं साथे संतोए अने कार्यकर्ता वे भेगा मरी अने एक काम पढ़ जे कहीं रू तेरे खरे खरे हम लाइगु के फक्त संतों ने कार्यकर्ता वो नथी पढ़ एम नमा टेक्निकल विचार करवानी अने टेक्निकल एमा मने बहु आनंद आ गया काम करवाऊँगा कि जेने पढ़ हूँ जो उस बहनों ने मैं जो या अक्की रात रात जागी ने आई बैठे We would show up in a location and pieces would be in place, extras would be organized, wardrobe would be ready, rooms would be prepared, and those are all things that would cost a whole lot. If this was an independent production that we came over here with a checkbook, it would cost significantly more than what we're actually spending to get this project made. We required authenticity in everything. Even the singing of the traditional Ganga Aarti had to be done in exactly the same manner as it was done for thousands of years. Well, hats off to Latesh, even on the third night, when the shoot was about to end in early morning, he was very fresh and alert. मैंने लागे इस के भक्ति भाव बधारे अने समर्पित बधार लोगों लागे इस आप प्रोजेक्ट पाशा One of the most memorable scenes of Mystic India is the Rath Yatra, which had a total cost of 10,000 BAPS members. Uh, the Rath Yatra, where in the real world, down in southern India, one to two million people come every year. They build these amazing chariots, it takes hundreds of people to push them through the streets. But now, of course, today, um, it's completely concreted and billboarded out with lots of high-tension wires, etc. So in Omnibad, in what we created, our own sort of special back lot, Um, we created this event uh, with 10,000 extras. Uh, 10,000 volunteers who came for no money, spending their own money and time to get there for Pramukh Swami. And the joy and the energy was unlike anything I've ever experienced before.
we needed to be as authentic as possible whether it was the set design the costume design the look of the people so even for example for the rath yatra not only the set design and the chariot design but even the people we had quite a few of the jagannath puri drum beaters travel down specially for the shot because it was difficult because they some of them had never traveled out of their homes and yet they traveled by train 2000 kilometers it's it's a 40 hour ride by train to come down for this shot and they came down just as their voluntary effort many groups of various communities from all parts of india were present there were south indians and punjabis gujaratis and maharashtrians bengalis and rajasthanis without a moment of complaining they started their day at 5 am in morning and continued tirelessly until sunset they did not even remove the colored powders throughout the day for the sake of continuity the shooting went on like this for 3 days To organize the shoot volunteers were systematically divided into 27 groups according to their regions and also based on their costumes and performances Each section had a group leader who coordinated with the production team for timing positioning and composing the whole shot people are going to be most amazed still by the Rath Yatra. Um because of those 40 foot chariots, because it seems like we had thousands upon thousands of extras which we did. Uh it's it's phenomenal. Uh, this is 42-9 take 1 A camera perspective. We're only doing This is a, a one of a kind project. I don't think you could ever get this kind of epic scale anywhere else uh, in large format.
for the traditional sequence of the arti that's the traditional waving of lamps which was conducted by pramukh swami maharaj thousands of our volunteers came in in a very orderly fashion we had to distribute all the props that's the artis themselves get all the lamps lighted together at the same time so that we would actually have the right shot and then with all these thousands of people practicing waving the lamps and actually singing the hymn at the same time it was a wonderful shot that came together because of the voluntary effort this is one of the most important scenes of the film because it carries the essence of mystic india that we are a single human family um this is at uh, in gandhinagar at the akshardham there and they invited the devotees to come and they came in droves uh they waited patiently bips handed out the the candles they had some elaborate system to allow everyone to light up all as one તો અમદાવાદમાંથી લગભગ આપણે પાંત્રીસોનું આયોજન કર્યું હતું અને ગાંધીનગરમાંથી પંદરસો પરંતુ એ ઉપરાંત આપણે પંચાવનસોની ગણતરી હતી પણ અત્યારે સાત હજાર જેટલા હરિભક્તો આજે હાજર હતા આઈ એમ અમેઝ એટ ધી કંટ્રોલ ઓફ ધ ક્રાઉડ એન્ડ ધી ઓર્ગેનાઇઝેશન ઓફ બી એપીએસ એન્ડ હાઉ એવરીથિંગ ફેલ ઇન્ટુ પ્લેસ Pramukh Swami was always strikes me as a remarkable man um remarkable in his stillness and his calmness and his humility so that's pretty remarkable you know to to try and sublimate the ego and to just be there for everyone uh that that really amazed me about him Pramukh Swami was on top and we had this wonderful crane shot where he is performing arti and he turns to the crowd and we crane up and over him to reveal the thousands beyond This this um the shot we did tonight was uh, incorporated all of the elements that make large format especially um especially interesting because we're able to um have a pretty remarkable composition with Lord Swami and then we were able to do a very dramatic reveal of the crowd of thousands that are in the middle of the of the chant it was very very dramatic i think of um of any of the large format shots that we've done over the years this is every bit equal if not better than many that we've done it was just outstanding and it's a magical moment because it's uh it is a mystical moment uh with all this light this living light uh and it's a it's a great way to end the film the difficulty with this shot is we had a very narrow window uh within which to to make the image uh optimum and the night before we filmed the reverse which of which was of a uh, lord swami um against the temple and so we photograph that at just exactly the the precise moment of last light where the firelight starts to overpower and we have the drama of the artificial lighting overpowering the daylight and so we had to match that light uh, in the reverse and the complexity we had of course with 6000 candles that had a burn time of about 15 minutes so we had a very narrow window of 15 minutes to try to have the balance of daylight uh equal you know the balance of the artificial light real smooth cameraman pan khub uh, experience cameraman che imax na e badal koi shanka nahi etle je 35 mm no scale hoy ena karta double scale thai jaye ne etla mota area ne light up karu e badu khare khare ek challenging kaam hatu pan je aarti ni andar 10000 manaso ke 15000 manaso ne bhega kari deepak praktavi deepak ni light ane e type nu illumination 
फिल्म मटे राखू ये भी एक खरेखर चैलेंजिंग काम हतु परंतु सदनसीबे प्रमुख स्वामी ने कृपा थी अब दो काम सरकी रीते थे क्यों Well this was a great beginning as a sound mixer you don't get a chance to record 5000 people singing very often and uh you know we had fantastic cooperation from the crowd they were completely ready to to do what we asked them to do that the weather was getting kind of cloudy and when they all sang for us the sun came out so it seemed like a really great beginning as far as i was concerned and we are a single human family this is the essence of mystic india well i think it was an appropriate ending our final shot of pramukh swami is probably one of the most amazing large format shots we've we've ever done Well, these are the things that really uh, delineate the spirit of India, if you will, or the mystic qualities of India. They are so vibrant, so full of color, so full of energy. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. So I think it, it's really important to show that as an element of life in India. what india is its various colors flavors festivals and these are uh, for every indian a sense to be very proud of you know it will make us as we should and we uh, we deserve to be larger than life we also covered the festival of colors holi where people throw colored water and powder to express the joy of arrival of the spring season we covered it in rajasthan where the festival actually originated color the color is amazing uh it's so vibrant and when you put them all together and then you add the flower petals and the powder it's 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 like a technicolor dream from a photographic uh, point of view especially for large format these festivals represent uh tremendous layers of color and uh and texture and contrast and in the case of what uh was uh, reenacted here uh a very dramatic use of uh of architecture combined with the uh, with the festival it's going to be a really uh a wonderful other layer that that sort of tells a story of uh of indian uh, culture and that was seen of diwali which is worship of lakshmi and the blessings of narayan i was extremely delighted because there is divinity coming home like ram coming back to ayodhya well i mean these are, this is the unsung heroes are countless in this film uh just the build the platform where all of the offerings the food offerings were placed 
that that was monumental in and of itself. It was one of the biggest um, um, layouts of food I think that's ever been done there. India is a land of colorful customs and fascinating festivals. A festival like this one, Ankut, which literally means a mountain of food, is a tradition where thousands of vegetarian dishes are offered to celebrate the new year. The preparations for this shot started almost a week ago. Dry savory snacks and sweets were being prepared. On the day of the shot, hundreds of fresh vegetarian dishes and juices were prepared and then traditionally arranged in front of the god. So just the amount of time and energy and care that went into just that one little sequence that lasts, as you say, five, seven seconds in the film and then we're on to something else. But it's there for everyone to enjoy and appreciate forever now. Something that people are used to doing, it's part of their life, it's part of their worship. It's not, it, it, it is spiritually based, but it's also this celebration of life. It's really, it's really amazing. The value of, uh, of including the festivals in, the, uh, in, in a film about Mystic India clearly is that it's something that is, is so watchable, it's, so, um, it's, it's, it's such an attractive thing for obviously the local people to watch, but internationally I think people are going to react very strongly. It's just, these are many traditions and customs that people just haven't seen worldwide before. India is such a vast country. It has so many different cultural folk dances like uh, Bharatnatyam and Kathakali from South India, Odissi from East India, Garba and Ras from Western India, 
and many more dances from many different regions. These dances are performed continuously for thousands of years. These dances have been performed continuously for thousands of years. Apart from elegant and delicate choreography, they embody hundreds of gestures and even eye movements, each with a meaning, expressing some emotion or sometimes even telling a whole story. It would take them hours, not just for practicing but even just to dress up. For performance and specialized dances like Bharatnatyam and Kathakali, we had professionals who have been practicing the dance for decades. And these participants, they have actually mastered these dances for decades because they are very graceful, meaningful dances. I can never see it as just a straight film anymore. I, I, what it does to me now is it brings back the making of it and the process of it, both before, during and after. And um, you know, the amazing memories that it created. I'm sure uh, everyone would appreciate that Sam Carden and Rono Majumdar, they have done a very good job of fusing the two systems. What I did was uh, I tried to keep um, as pure as possible as far as Indian ragas are concerned. I tried to match with uh, Sam Carden's uh, symphony orchestra and that was a little challenge for me. like we have a sa which is the main note sa conception very strong and western music does not have that sa conception or a improvisation within the structure is the specialty of our system i have vast experience in creating western cinematic sound and uh, but none in creating uh, indian music indian classical music and so my goal was to try and get to somewhat of an understanding of 
an oriental approach to music and fuse that with my understanding of Western. Sam coming from a Western background, we had to interact, acquaint him with the Indian system. Sam was very receptive, very understanding, very quick to grasp. And then Yogi Chedan Swami, who was an absolute master of music, and who, uh, in his very kind way, was able to take both of our approaches and help us to see one another in the middle uh, and, and to come together into something that was a, a, a very complete collaboration, in, in my view. The fusion has come up really well throughout the film. I don't think there is any point in the film where the music or the fusion is lacking the interest. It seems to have been treated very well throughout. Basically, see, a lot of alaps are there which Shubhaji has done and a lot of rag we tried with like bhatiyar and other things and uh, so we did not put harmonies when it is not required. Well, I first consider myself extremely fortunate because I know that um, my imperfections are many, countless, and yet to be given the opportunity to, um, to be the voice of, um, as you said, uh, uh, in a sense, somebody who symbolizes the divine is a very uh, big privilege and an extreme, I think it's an honor. And at the same time, uh, there's a great sense of responsibility then. Uh, yet to be given this chance, I feel, is a matter of divine grace. It's Kripa. Yes. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have received this divine grace. Just listening to the voice of Shuba. Her voice is a symphony. It's, uh, you know, to me it's the equivalent of listening to a, a 95 piece Western orchestra playing just in this one voice. Nilkand is leaving home. He has lived in this city of Ayodhya. Naturally, he is attached to this city. He has been going to all these temples every day. He is going to bathe to this Sadhu Ghat every day. So, how to convey it in music is it was a very difficult thing. But fortunately, the Indian system of ragas, they have a they have a whole palette of emotions to explore. Each rag having a specific mood associated with it. Finally, we could come up with appropriate treatment of that particular event. I'm involved with this whole group, uh, BAPS, uh, Swami Narayan Sanstha, and I know what it is doing for the society. So all those things really touched all of us, myself, Sam Carden, uh, Shubhaji and all the musician itself, they played with a lot of devotion and that brings out the spirituality in the playing which is beyond the um, perfection. And then I went to Mumbai and I worked with the rhythm section there which consisted of 16 people and uh, I think there were two tabla players, um, uh, two people playing duff, uh, somebody playing pakawage. Uh, and all these small percussions that were happening at the same time and uh, 16 people were in complete and total sync at the same time. That was extraordinary for me to see. And also I mm, experimented a little bit with uh, lot, recording a lot of tanpuras. 
I really, it was uh, so a spiritual experience to record whole day just the Tanpura and tuning with a lot of intensity. And I think uh, that day was very memorable for me. In, in India, each and every state, not only regions, each state has its own culture, its own musical traditions, even its own musical instruments. And so all this had to represent in the film. When Nilkanti is moving through South India, naturally all the South Indian music, the way the South Indian music is a totally a, a little different, a tradition, a school, and appropriate instruments which are which are typical of South India, like Nudangam and Nadaswaram, and all these instruments had to be used. In eastern part of India, near Orissa or Bengal, we brought that shloka uh, for the Jagannath, Lord Jagannath, which is the most popular in that region. We wanted a theme music, a very short theme, which would come on repeatedly throughout the film. It had to be Indian, yet it had to have an appeal for the Western audiences as well. Just to design a, a theme which is just a number of seconds is it's a difficult thing. I was uh, once really feeling very uh, uh, tense when I was uh, I composed a theme music in the um, rag bihag, and rag bihag. Uh, if you put any harmony, the feeling of rag bihag uh, can be compromised. <laughs> But what happened, Sam was really staying with me here uh, many days in Ahmedabad, as you know. So he learned the rag basically and he composed the orchestra according to the rag, the symphony orchestra. So it never compromises, you know, that way. And also I tried to bring a lot of ancient instrument into it, like Rudraveena and uh, uh, like instruments like um, Sur Bahar, other things, you know, which really helped the project to go in its time, you know, and bring the ancient sound into it. With the blessing of Pramukh Swami, I think some divine power was there, which was really helping us and really driving us to the to our goal and I don't know how it all happened but it's only by the grace of God and Guru that the, these qualities come up. Well this experience has been life-changing for me it's uh, you know I won't look at I won't look at life the same uh, I won't look at music the same but in many ways that was only a small fraction of the overall experience. This was the best experience of my life working in this great great dead project magical. It, it was a special experience that I will never forget. Well, this film could not have been made without VAPS. 
Literally, this film would have been impossible without the devotees and the, just the selfless um, help and support that we got wherever we went. What Reed labeled the Invisible Army. This was an independent production that we came over here with a checkbook. It would cost significantly more than what we're actually spending to get this project made. And what happens is that you get a production value on the screen that you can't really put a value on, X number of dollars. It's, it's something that goes way beyond that. And then it's just the energy and the dedication. There's no way you could write a check and, and, and buy that kind of talent. You just, you just can't do it. That's really magical to me, and it, it really does come across as something special, as something unique, something profound. I'm very proud of the film. Uh, I think it's a remarkable uh, collaborative effort. You know, probably one of the purest projects that I've been involved with. और इतना डेडिकेशन जो है वॉलेंटियर्स का मैंने कहीं नहीं देखा जिंदगी में किसी भी देश में किसी भी कल्चर में संस्कृति में कहीं भी Never before sincerely have I experienced this kind of uh, cooperation and participation the most amazing support network our boy couldn't actually swim so we had a whole bunch of human catch uh, net uh, downstream. So here's the boy, he comes into the frame and he floats off stream. What, what you don't see are about 20 guys in the water, freezing cold water, there to catch the boy before he gets swept away. Uh, so drama was as great off camera as it was on camera. The reasons why this film was a success, one of the main reasons was the dedication of volunteers. So when a volunteer is prepared to do work, he has faith in the organization. The spirit with which they worked was uh, so energetic. It was not for any personal gain. It was not for any personal interest. They did not want any credit. And that's the reason why they did not pay attention to the number of hours. People left their jobs. They worked not for just eight hours a day. They worked patiently, sometimes 16 hours a day, for months at a stretch. And this was the spirit in which they worked. It's one of the strengths that BAPS brings to it. They're dedicated, they're organized, they are willing to give their time, energy, effort to make the project go. I tell people that I'm forever uh, spoiled because <laughs> there's no way I could ever have done a scene with 9,000 extras, uh, you know, the Shobha Yatra with 3,000 people, just these amazing sequences we've been able to capture with the BAPS organizational power. It's very clear that uh, Pramod Swami has been the catalyst for this project. It's very clear because um, dedication and devotion of the members, but they've been willing to come and, and dedicate themselves and sit in the hot sunlight, you know, and endure our delays and, and the wind and the, the sun and everything else. And these people are so dedicated. And they, their feeling is that if, uh, if this is a project for Pramukh Swami and he's given it his blessing, then, then that's, that's why we're here. We don't need to question any further than that. And that's a pretty rare, that's a pretty rare element. They just wanted two things, the blessings of Swamiji. That was one thing that was uppermost in their mind. And they were very uh, 
confident and uh, they believed that by the blessings of Prabhu Swami Maharaj they would experience peace of mind and heart. तो सेवा और श्रद्धा में चमत्कार जिसके पीछे प्रमुख स्वामी का जो आशीर्वाद है या उनकी प्रेरणा है आप जो कह लें उसको वो जरूर रही होगी कि सबने वो प्रमुख स्वामी का वादा पूरा करने के लिए प्रमुख स्वामी ब्लेसिंग टू ईच वॉज ऑल्सो हैड अ डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट Uh, it's had a direct effect for us, each of us personally, because it's it's impacted us. Even though we don't speak the same language, on a spiritual level, I think all of us have felt something very special about this project. There's no doubt about it. Well, you know, I've been I've been very lucky that I've actually spent a fair amount of time with Pramukh Swami. I am I'm constantly impressed with his ability to connect with everyone, with his ability to remember so much, uh, the way that he really finds a way to personalize each and every encounter. Uh, I'm amazed at everyone's devotion to him. It, it is really impressive. I mean, clearly, these people would never have done what they've done if it weren't for Pramukh Swami. I'm, I'm not going to kid myself for a second that they're doing it for us. <laughs> This was all for Pramukh Swami, for BAPS, for their faith. And I think um, he has an amazing group. Um, they're all incredibly intelligent people. It's been a pleasure working with them. And it's been a pleasure to to meet and get to know him a little bit. Hats off to BAPS for for trying to do this. A film that's being that's being made about India, you know, from the inside out. But again, with the strength of this organization, they've made it possible. Very complicated and very difficult, and a lot of work got done by this invisible army because they were inspired by Pramukh Swami. For me, it was an incredible journey just to to learn about the different ways. And to appreciate that. इल्कन वर्णन ये तो तो साक्षात भगवान पुरुषों से नाने नक्षत्र दाम दीपति सर्वपरि परमात्मा जाता ये तो नाम हमने तो नील्कन वर्णन नारायण होने या जान तो बता नाम आप रहता अनेक बोलिए जे पर साक्षात है तो हमारा नक्षत्र दाम मुझे स्वरूप दीवे स्वरूप सर्वपरि ये पोते ता ने हमने पोता ने संकल्प त्या� हम एमने जन्म मरण हो तो क्या है पर एक निमित्त है कि माता पिता ने बढ़ू अपना लोकनी दृष्टि थाय करें त्या जन्म ले दो पे एमने संकल्प हो तो एट पोता बाढ़ अंदर बद मंदिरों दर्शन करने लोग धर्म भावना कर संकल्प हो तो बद संग्रह करो तो तो पी अगर वर्ष की उम्र घरे थे पे माता पिता ने अपने दुनिया में तो यू है माता पिता ने आप सेवा कर जव एम एम न जव पे आप संस्कृति है तो ये नानपन थी जमने पोता माता पिता ने जो सेवा करी थी कर ली थी बाढ़ मित्रों ने कर ली थी एट अपना लोकनी दीते जमन चरित्र मनुष्य चरित्र पर बधु दिव्य ज कहवा एम जो संबंध था माता पिता संबंध बाड़कों थे रमत गमत ना बदा संबंध थे एट कर पीछे त्याँ वन विचरण कर वन विचरण अंदर पर एम कह बदा जो ऋषि मुनिओ है बीजा मणसों से पशुओ पंखी से बदा संबंध था एट्ले प्रमाण विचरण करता करता ठेठ बता आखा भारत बढ़ा तीर्थों से महान बदा जो प्रसंगों से बदे विचरिया विचरण करता करता लोजपुर अंदर आया रान स्वाई ने ते मैं रान स्वाई पे एमने दीक्षा आपी और पोता सहजानंद नाम पड़ू नारायण मुनि नाम पड़ू त्यार पे आ महाराजे पोता संप्रदाय चलाय कैनन जीवना कल्याण मटे एट मूल तो एमन कार्य तो पर आ लोकनी दृष्टि लोग बड़ो संबंध होता तो जाए करता करता पी आया महाराज पी मोटो पांच सौ सतो थ मंदिरों हजारों थे लाखों सत्संगी थे और बड़ा संकल्प करता गया कि बढ़ो हजारों नहीं पृथ्वी उत्तर रहे त्या सुधी आ लोग ने दर्श सत्संग थाय प्रताप जनाए यम संकल्प होता है तो भगवान से तो 
મહારાજે કહ્યું છે કે ભગવાન તો પૃથ્વીમાંથી ક્યાં જતા રહે છે એકાંતિક ધર્મ આપ્યો છે નકાંતિક ધર્મ કાયમ પ્રવૃત્તિ રહે છે શ્રીજી મહારાજે સંકલ્પ કરીને આવ્યા છે અને જોગી મહારાજે સંકલ્પ કર્યા છે ગુણા સ્વાય કર્યા છે કે આખા બ્રહ્માંડમાં સત્સંગ થાય આખી દુનિયામાં સત્સંગ થાય લાખો માણસો સત્સંગ થાય એવા બધા એમના સંકલ્પ છે એટલે બીજી સંસ્કૃતિવાળાએ પણ અત્યારે આપણે જોઈએ છે કે આ મોટું કાર્ય થયું છે એમાં બધી સંસ્કૃતિવાળા આવે છે તો અક્ષરધામ જોઈને રાજી થઈ જાય એને મનમાં પ્રેરણા મળે છે એટલે ભગવાનની ઈચ્છાથી આ બધું મળી આવે ભગવાને જ્યારે ઈચ્છા થાય કે એને મોટા પુરુષના સંકલ્પ છે જો અને આપણે બધાનો પ્રયત્ન હતો કે આવું કંઈક સારું થાય અને એ બધા સંતો વધુતરો બધા તો એ રીતે બધો જોગ ને સંજોગ બધા થઈ ગયા અને એવા માણસ મળી ગયા ભગવાનનો મોટા પુરુષોનો સંકલ્પ હોય અને આ પ્રયત્ન આપણો હતો અને ખરેખર જે કેમેરા મેન મળ્યો એ બહુ સારો ડાયરેક્ટર મળ્યો એ સારો બહુ જ ઝીણું ઝીણું કાં તે એક જરાક આમ તો ફરી પાછું પણ એમ કે એવા કેમેરાવાળા પણ એમ કે બહુ પરફેક્ટ આવે અને વ્યવસ્થિત આવે એવું એમ લાગણી એમને એ કહે ચાલો ચલાવી દો તો આપણે ક્યાં જોવાના જાણવા કાં પરફેક્શન નથી પણ એ લોકોને એને બે જણા કેમેરા લેનારો હતો અને પેલો બધો ગાઈડ કરતા હતા એ પણ બહુ સારા બે જણા અને જરા ભાવિ કંઈ ખરા એને લાગણી થઈ અને મહેનત બધે બધે કરી પણ મહેનત બહુ સારી છે અને સરસ થઈ ગયું એટલે મૂળ વસ્તુ છે કે આપણી ભાવના તો એક જ હતી કે ભાઈ આ બધો ભગવાન આવ્યો સામાન્ય અને ભગવાનો દરેક ને કે એમનો ખ્યાલ આવે કે એમને આવીના જગતમાં કેમ કાર્ય કેવું કર્યું છે શું કર્યું છે એ થાય છે એટલે માટે આપણે આ બધું મંદિરો લીધા બીજું સંસ્કૃતિ લીધી બધી લીધી પણ મૂળ તો આપણી ભારતીય સંસ્કૃતિ બધાને અસર કરે એવી છે આ કે એના જીવમાં એટલા માટે બધી આપણે બધા લીધા મંદિરો લીધા સા ઉત્સવો લીધા લોકોનો એ લીધો એટલે એ તો અને બધું સારું જ કાર્ય હતું એટલે લોકોને થાય એટલે સારું એટલે જોઈને લોકો રાજી પણ થયા છે કારણ કે આપણી સંસ્કૃતિ તો છે ને ભાઈ દરેકની સાથે સદભાવના રાખો સારી ભાવના રાખો દરેકનું કલ્યાણ થાવ દરેકનું સારું થાવ શત્રુનું પણ સારું થાવ આપણે તો ત્યાં સુધી ને જો કે ભાઈ તો કહેતા હતા એનું સારું થાય મારું સારું બોલે એનું થાય ના બોલે એનું સારું થાય એટલે આપણી સંસ્કૃતિ એ છે કે કોઈને કોઈના ઉપર એમ કે તરાપ મારીને એને દબાવી એવું નથી આપણી વાત કરવી રજૂઆત કરવાની એને સંસ્કાર છે તો થશે એટલે આપણે મૂળ આપણી ભારતીય સંસ્કૃતિની વાત એ છે કે જેથી કરીને દુનિયામાં શાંતિ થાય અને સારી ભાવના થાય એટલે આપણે એ જ છે કે ભાઈ બીજાના ભલામાં આપણું ભલો જો એનું ભલો હોય છે ને એ સારો હશે તો આપણને સારું થશે બીજાના સુખ દુઃખ બીજાના સુખમાં આપણું સુખ જો એને સુખી કરીશું તો આપણે સુખી થઈશું પણ બીજાને જો દુઃખી કરશું તો આપણે દુઃખી જ થવાના છે એ તો ભગવાનનો આશરો થાય અને આપણી અક્ષર પુરુષો નિષ્ઠા થાય તો એને અક્ષરરૂપ થયો પછી એને ભય જ ક્યાં છે ભય આત્મા છે તો મળતો નથી નાશ પામતો નથી હટતો નથી ડૂબતો એને તો કંઈ તલવારથી કપાતો નથી આત્મા તો અજર છે અમર છે સુખરૂપ સત્તારૂપ છે એ જ્યારે જ્ઞાનની દ્રઢતા થાય એટલે જ મહારાજ અક્ષરને લઈને આવ્યા છે ને અને ગુણા સ્વાય કહ્યું કે અક્ષરરૂપ થવું ને ભક્ષો તો એની ભક્તિ કરી અને આત્માની કોઈ નાશ થતો જ નથી પછી એને કોઈ મારી નાખવાની વાત કરે તો એ ક્યાં છે પણ આત્મા ક્યાં મતલબ તો આ શરીર જ પડી જાય છે પંચભૂત શરીર છે એ શરીરનો નાશ થાય છે આત્માનો નાશ થતો નથી એ એટલે જ્ઞાન થાય નિર્ભય થઈ હોય એમાં પછી ગમે તે થાય તો એને ડર જ ના હોય ને ગમે તે રીતે મૃત્યુ તો આવવાનું છે હકીકત છે શરીર છૂટવાનું છે શરીર નાશવંત છે આપણી સંસ્કૃતિ પહેલી કહે બધું આ જગત નાશવંત છે સંપત્તિ નાશવંત છે બધું અને એમાંથી મોહ મમતા ટાળીને ભગવાનમાં જોડાવાનું છે આપણે કામ જે એ કરનાર રહીએ છીએ પ્રેરણા આપણામાં કરનાર રહીએ છીએ આપણે એટલું માન નથી લેવાનું કે હો અમારાથી થયું અમે કર્યું અમારે કરી થયું આપણે કશું જ કર્યું નથી જે છે એમના સંકલ્પોથી થયા છે એમના પ્રતાપે અને એમના ઈશ્વરેથી થાય છે મારા સંકલ્પ એના ગુણા છે ભગતજી મારા સાસી મહારાજના યોગી મારા સંકલ્પો છે ને બધા જો આખા બ્રહ્માંડમાં સત્સંગ થશે આનંદ બ્રહ્માંડનો સત્સંગ થશે અને એ બધો મોટો સંકલ્પ એમનો છે એટલે એમના સંકલ્પ થાય છે એને પ્રેરણા આપણે થઈને આ પ્રેરણાથી આપણે કામ કર્યું છે એટલે આપણે એવું નથી કે આપણે જ કર્યું છે અને આપણાથી જ થયું છે તો પછી એ ભગવાન સંત રાજી થાય અને આપણે એનું કાર્ય છે એ પોતે જ પોતાનું કાર્ય કરે છે ગમે તે પ્રેરણા કરી ગમે તે એમાં પ્રેરણા કરી મૂળ ભગવાનની પ્રાર્થના છે એ અગત્યની વસ્તુ આપણે ગમે તે હોય પણ પ્રાર્થના કરે સરળ થઈ જાય આપણની શ્રદ્ધા જોઈએ કે ભગવાન કરશે જ તો પછી કામ બધું સારું થયું છે ને એ પ્રમાણે થઈ ગયું દરેક એટલે મારા તો માળાએ કરી હતી ને માળાએ ઘણા વખત પહેલાં આજે વાત હા રાતે રાત થાય હોય તો સવારે ઉઠીને પણ થોડી પથારીમથી કરી લેવું પછી એમાં પૂજા કરતો એમાં માળા કરી દેતો હતો એવી રીતે બધી માળાઓ બધું કરતા હતા અને પ્રાર્થના કરીએ ઠાકોરજી આગળ પાછ
એટલે એ રીતે બધું થતું હતું કારણ કે ભગવાન સિવાય આપણો આધાર ક્યાં હતો મૂળ વસ્તુ તો આપણી એ જ હતી ગુરુ ને ભગવાન બે સાસરી માં જો ભગવાન યાદ કરીએ ને ભગવાન શ્રીજી માં યાદ કરીએ એટલે ભગવાન એ કાર્ય કરે છે એમનું જ કાર્ય હતું ને એ કરવાના હતા પણ આવા થોડુંક આપણે તકલીફ તો આપે ને કે આવા પ્રસંગે મને યાદ કરો બરાબર કે તમે તમારા હમમન આવી જતા કે અમે કરી શકીએ એમ છે અને એમને કે આવું આપણે કંઈક કરવું છે તો એ પ્રેરણાથી આવું સરસ કાર્ય થયું છે તો આપણે એટલી જ ભાવના કરીએ કે ભાઈ આ ફિલ્મ જે જુએ એનું પણ કલ્યાણ થાય એ બીજાને વાત કરે નહીં તો પણ એનું કલ્યાણ થાય એટલે એ માટે આપણે ભગવાનને પ્રાર્થના કરીએ કે આમાં જેને જેને આ જુએ અને જેને જેને એમાં દર્શન થાય એ બધાનું સારું થાય આ લોકોનું પરલોકનું બધું સુધરી જાય ને શાંતિ થાય એ માટે પ્રાર્થના કરીએ